Technology. Technology, but it's not 100%. It's not 100%. I, I think there's some equipment out there that that will be close to 100%, and and uh, and and we're looking at that in the future to to uh, help us out. It, it's um, it's critical. Without it, um, we wouldn't raise potatoes. We grow 11 varieties of potatoes, and they're all all a little different. Some. Some varieties we just we just harvest early and put them on semis and send them to the plant. Others we harvest mid-season and later in the season and take them to our potato storage and condition them and then deliver them later. You know, from this phone, I can turn that pivot on, I can shut it off, I can I can make it go without without water, I can I can turn my end gun on, I can turn it off, I can make it stop at a certain degree from this. And um, that really saves a lot of time. I, I find myself, you know, not carrying a pad of paper around. I carry my iPad because my iPad has all the, that kind of information. I can watch tractors and combines and sprayers, you know, on my iPad through that. I can check my potato storages. From my iPad, I can I can change a setting in there, degree, temperature, turn a fan on or off. You know, I can do everything. Looks like I'm like I'm right there, and and we have a storage here a mile away, and then we have some that are 25 miles away. So it just eliminates that back and forth, you know, and checking and you know, those kind of thing. But it's it's, it's technology, and it it um, it's it's really a vital part of the future of uh, agriculture. The risk about that is you take away my GPS and satellite and we're done. We're setting. We can't operate. We can't plan. We can't, we can't do a lot of things. So, so technology is really good, but there's no backup for us. For us, there's, there's, there's not a backup.